Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Rebecca here with our second um, in the series of, of stories, actually fairy tales and folk tales for elementary school children, which I think that we will start posting on Fridays and calling Fairy Tale and Folk Tale Fridays, which is a very nice name. Um, so today our story yeah. is a folk tale. And I'm sure that most of you know a little bit about folk tales from being in school. And so what a folk tale is, is it's a story that's been handed down from grandparents and aunts and uncles and parents to children um, over and over and over again through a long, long, long period of time. So today our folk tale is called The Fat Cat. And it's from Denmark, so it's a Danish folk tale. And if any of you were in the Bridges program last fall, we did read this book when we ate snacks from Denmark. We had Havarti cheese, and we had like a really thick rye bread, and we had a smoked fish spread. So anyway, this is a folktale from Denmark. And if any younger kids are watching, it is a little bit graphic. It's nothing terrible, but, well, it is kind of terrible, but comparatively, it's nothing too terrible. But without further ado, let's read The Fat Cat by Jack Kent, which really means retold by Jack Kent, I think. And this is, this is Denmark's flag that this big fat cat is carrying. There was once an old woman who was cooking some gruel. She had some business with a neighbor woman and asked the cat if he would look after the gruel while she was gone. I'll be glad to, said the cat. What an accommodating cat. When the old woman had gone, the gruel looked so good that the cat ate it all. Hmm. He's rubbing his tummy. Look how happy the cat is. When the old woman came back, she said to the cat, Now what has happened to the gruel? Oh, said the cat, I ate the gruel, and I ate the pot too. And now I am going to also eat you. And he ate the old woman. What? He just ate her up? <laughs> it's shocking. He went for a walk, and on the way he met Skohottentot. And Skohottentot said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. He is very fat, isn't he? Just look at him. How ridiculous. <laughs> and the cat said, I ate the gruel, and, and I ate the pot, and the old woman too. And now I'm going to also eat you. So he ate Skohottentot. What? Cats don't just go around eating people. Afterwards, he met Skolinkinlot. Skolinkinlot said, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And he's getting fatter, isn't he? I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too, and Skohottentot, said the cat. And now I am going to eat you. So he ate Skolinkinlot. He's very fat already. How fat will he be in the next picture? Oh, goodness. Look at that fat cat. Next, he met five birds in a flock. And they said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman, too. And Skohottentot and Skolinkinlot. And now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the five birds in a flock. He's pretty big now. It's kind of more normal thing for a cat to try to eat a bird, though. <laughs> Look at him now. I hope he doesn't eat these children. Later, he met seven girls dancing. And they, too, said to him, Gracious, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And the cat said, 
I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too and Skohatten tot and Skolinton tot and five birds in a flock and now I am going to also eat you and he ate the seven girls dancing oh no when he had gone a little farther he met a lady with a pink parasol and she too said to him heavens what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And you can see he doesn't even fit on the page there. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too and Skohatten and Skolinkin lot and five birds in a flock and seven girls dancing and now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the lady with the pink parasol. A little later, he met a parson with a crooked staff. Dear me, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. Hi. Oh, said the cat. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too and Skohatten tot and Skolinkin lot and five birds in a flock and seven girls dancing and the lady with the pink parasol. And now I am going Hi. to also eat you. And he ate the parson with the crooked staff. How is he even going to fit anywhere? Let's see what happens. Next he met a woodcutter. My, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. Look how big he is now. And the cat says, I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too and Skohatten tot and Skolinkin lot. And five birds in a flock, and seven girls dancing, and the lady with the pink parasol, and the parson with the crooked staff. And now I am going to also eat you. No, you are wrong, my little cat, said the woodcutter. Uh-oh, you guys, what does the woodcutter have? And do any of you guys remember the end of Little Red Riding Hood? Well, the less happy end of Little Red Riding Hood, where the where the woodcutter comes and rescues Grandma Little Red after the wolf beats them, which is much different than the one I would tell at story time. He took his axe and cut the cat open. And out jumped the parson with the crooked staff and the woman with the pink parasol and the seven girls dancing, and the five birds in a flock, and Skolinkin lot, and Skohatten tot. And the old woman took her pot and her gruel and went home with them. And that is the end. But it does give us some hope of a happy ending. There's the woodcutter and this ridiculous cat sitting together with a bandage. So, we could choose to believe that the cat was happily bandaged back up. I don't know. Seems unlikely, but I will choose to believe it. That the cat learned from his mistakes, was sewn back up, and went on to live a very happy cat life. So that's the end of our story today. You can find lots of folk tales at the library and um, just give the library a call or, um, or an email. Maybe get your parent or a grown-up to help with that. Um, and that's the end of our folktale today. So I will see you next Friday for another Twisted Fairy Tale folktale. Or even maybe at some point just a regular fairy tale. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!